Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Golfton Magazine and Athletic Turf News, and I'm here with Russ Nicholson. Russ is a agronomist with Pennington. Russ, appreciate you taking the time out of a busy day here at the STMA show to chat with us. Pleasure. Now, uh, we were talking earlier about something real interesting to our to, to, to the industry, and that is uh, water conservation. And, and there's a lot of uh, people out there who think that, you know, all turf is sucking up water, and, and, and we kind of had a chat about that. Can you tell me something about uh, some of the work you guys are doing to, to help this? Right. Was, over the years, I mean, uh, the, the books and everything, have been categorizing a certain species as set ET. Well, through the breeding, what we have found is that, let's take bluegrass for instance, that the ET is 0.8 on bluegrass, is what you see in your textbooks. And through research, we have found varieties that are much more drought tolerant, or using less water, I should say, than the standards. So standards of 20 years ago, yes, they're a 0.8 ET, but we have found some that are 20 and 30 percent ET. And so what we're trying to do is promote that through the Turf Grass Water Conservation Alliance. Now tell me, who isn't a part of the Turf Grass Water Conservation Alliance? Well, the Turf Grass Water Conservation Alliance is, is a nonprofit organization that was developed by grass seed companies in Oregon. Uh, Pennington Seed, Turf Merchants, Pro Seeds, and Pure Seed are the sponsoring uh, grass seed companies. And we're using rainout shelters at a lot of the land grant universities, like the University of Arkansas, Purdue, uh, Virginia Tech, we're installing one at University of Guelph in Canada. Uh, then there's some private organizations like Pure Seed in North Carolina. They've got a rainout shelter. The University of Air, uh, California in Riverside is putting in a field study. It doesn't rain enough out there to warrant a, a rainout shelter. Sure. So, so in a way the industry is coming together to, to help solve a problem here? Correct. Well, we've seen that as an industry-wide, the uh, some cities and government agencies are paying to take turf out entirely and install xeriscape or rock or something of this nature. Well, there's so many benefits of turf grass, the oxygen production, dust collection, erosion control, the cooling effect that you know rock or xeriscape doesn't offer. Exactly. I don't want to run around on rock, you know, with my kids. Yeah, no one does. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Well, hey, how's the show going for you guys so it's far? It's going well. It's well attended. Good. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. So, well, hey, Russ, appreciate you taking the time to speak with us on camera. Like I said, this is Russ Nicholson. He's with Pennington. I'm Seth Jones with Galtum and Athletic Turf News, and we appreciate what you, what you guys are doing out there in the industry, and I appreciate you guys watching. So, Russ, right. thanks a bunch. Thanks, Seth. Okay. Thanks for watching.